Okay, come on, Lulu. Jump through the hoop. Jump through jump through the hoop. Oh, good job, Buns. Good job. Okay, I'm just kidding. But I that does really highlight something. That hoop is really cool. But I can't print a different size. Well, actually, I can. And I'm going to show you how I did it. So this is OpenSCAD, and I created this hoop file. Let's make it not segmented. I used Gemini to help me code this. So there's a hoop, and I can make it any radius I want. Right now, it's 300 millimeters. Let's put it to 100. Let's make it a tiny little hoop. So this might be like a gerbil-sized hoop. Or let's make it... Uh, 180. That's more like a cat size hooped. There we go. And my 3D printer right here has kind of a smaller bed, so I can't print this hoop um, all at once, but I could probably print it in four segments. So I'm going to change that, and I'm going to make it segmented, and there we go. There's a quarter of a hoop, and I can change my connector length so if you look right there there's a little connector that that fits in to the other end and then i can uh save it as an stl and i can take that stl and i can put it into my slicer and then i can print it um so this is probably only going to be exciting for a very small group of people but if you are wanting to make a small training hoop for your dog or cat I will leave the link down below and you can, if your dog or cat is less lazy than buns, you can print out a hoop that they can then jump through. And if this is interesting stuff for you, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. I did create a video on how to, um, how to make this hoop or actually anything you'd like um, using Gemini and then putting it into OpenSCAD so you can have parametric model creations. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye, fellow nerds.